In Ableton Live, there are four basic track types. The first type of track is an audio track. An audio track is easily identifiable by the fader and meter, as shown here. You can add a new audio track by using the Insert Audio Track option from the Create menu, or by using the key command, Command-T. The second type of track is a MIDI track. A MIDI track is easily identifiable by the MIDI monitor, or lack of a fader. You can add a new MIDI track by using the Insert MIDI Track from the Create menu, or by using the key command, Command-Shift-T. The third type of track is a group track. Group tracks are a great way to contain a collection of audio or MIDI tracks for organization, shared effect inserts, or simply to create a cleaner view. To create a group track, highlight the tracks you would like to group, right-click on the track header and select Group Tracks, or use the key command, Command-G. The fourth type of track is a return track. Return tracks receive signal from any audio track send section. You will learn more about this in the Mixer Basics tutorial. To ensure return tracks are visible, click on the R button on the right hand side of your screen. To add a return track, select Insert Return Track from the Create menu or use the key command Option Command T. You can insert up to 12 return tracks labeled A through L. To the left-hand side of your screen, you will notice an arrow button, which allows you to show and hide Ableton Live's browser. Within the browser, you have the ability to navigate between Ableton's built-in instruments, audio effects, MIDI effects, Max for Live effects, and any third-party audio units or VSTs you have installed. Under the Places header, you can add folders. Here I've added my SFX folder filled with my digitized sound effect library. The browser lets me search sound effects and preview them. At the top of your screen, you will notice various other controls. These are global controls associated with Ableton Live's tempo and time code. Here you will find the global tempo shown as a number, which represents beats per minute. Time signature. Global launch quantization. And the playback transport.